Michelle, thanks. Here is your chance to save species, a species in danger. Roger Williams Park Zoo is looking for volunteers to help keep tabs on Rhode Island's frog population, which is also why I'm wearing gloves. TJ Del Santo has the details. Amphibians around the globe are disappearing at an alarming rate, and Roger Williams Park Zoo wants to do something to stop it, and they need your help. They're calling for citizen scientists to help track frogs and toads right here in Rhode Island. While some local waters are still frozen and snowy, we'll soon be hearing this. The sounds of frogs and toads. But the frog and toad population around the world is declining at alarming levels. Frogs are under pressure and amphibians are under pressure for many things. Habitat loss, of course pollution, uh, but now we're finding it's deadly fungus. Lou Parati is the conservation programs coordinator at the Roger Williams Park Zoo. He says our local amphibian population is fine and wants to keep it that way. To do that, for the third year now, the zoo is taking part in the Frog Watch USA program and they're looking for volunteers. And what they do is they they listen to the breeding calls of uh, frog and toad populations throughout the season. It's a free program through the zoo. A brief training session is provided to the volunteers and it only requires about three minutes a day of work. If you have frogs within earshot of the deck of your house, you can sit out there with a cup of coffee and do this. And all you do is listen for the sound. Frogs are important because they can indicate the health of an ecosystem. They control the bug population, and they provide food for other animals. It's a great way for scientists to keep track of, of local amphibian populations by using citizens to do it for us. And if you'd like more information about how you can become a citizen scientist as part of the Frog Watch USA program, you can go to our website, foxprovidence.com. I'm TJ Del Santo for The Road Show. And, you know, I'm really glad that uh, TJ included the, the sound of the frogs making those noises because I would have thought those were birds. Joining us now is Lou Parati from Roger Williams Park Zoo to tell us a little more about this Frog Watch USA program. And uh, he's brought along some froggy friends with him here. Um, I put on these gloves because you said this is a poisonous frog, right? Well, it, it can secrete uh, secretions on its skin that it, it uses to protect itself. Okay, um, but you said that these gloves were more of a protection for him. Correct. What does that say about me? Well, we, we have a lot of salts and things in our hands from our sweat and okay. things that, that aren't good for frog skins. Frogs are very sensitive to, to anything in their environment that's, that's foreign. So I'm a little nervous, but we, let's get him out. But, uh, this, oh, he's hopping. This is a marine toad or, a, or a cane toads, they were called. Mm -hmm. it's, it's one of the largest species of toads. Mm -hmm. Let me spray your hands yeah, here a little bit. Okay. Wait, don't, won't that mean he'll slip out of my hands? No, just hold him very okay. firmly. Okay, or, very firm. Yeah. I am I am I am the alpha dog. I will not let you go. Will he pee on me? He may. Okay, yeah. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Uh, will he bite me? He will not bite you. Right. No, no. Uh, getting peed on is probably the uh, worst. The worst. Yeah. Okay. okay, I am. I am now holding the frog. I'm okay. Now, and you will not get warts. So. It's oh, just, and that's a. That's a. That's a total wives' tale. Very sure. interesting. Yeah. Now, what makes this a frog different than than say a toad? And do we also have toads in the area? We have toads. We have three species of toads that uh, live in Rhode Island, and we have seven species of frogs. Um, Toads tend to be more terrestrial, like to live more on land where frogs seem to be uh, a little bit more aquatic. And um, skeletally, um, frogs have teeth, toads don't. Oh, good. Well, that's good to know. Thanks. Oh, woo okay, he's moving. He's quite strong. Oh, um, yes, he is. <laughs> yes, he is. And he's being, and he's jumping. Okay. Now, why is it, get back in there, why is it that we want to count the frogs? Why is that so important? Well, frogs, number one, are, are, are a very valuable indicator species for healthy environments. They're like the canary in the, in the mine shaft, correct, if you will. Correct, correct. Um, and right now, there is, uh, scientists have, uh, you know, discovered a, a global crisis going on. Uh, amphibians are disappearing all over the globe right now uh, due to many reasons. Uh, habitat loss, um, you know, pesticides, poisons in the environment, and now a deadly fungal disease that, that seems to be really uh, decimating populations in, in tropical regions. So just really quickly, if someone says, yeah, I'd love to do this because I think I've heard that sound outside my house before, how exactly do you track the frogs? What do you have to do? It's a breeding call survey. So basically you go out at night um, and you listen. Um, Mm -hmm. And most people can do it from their house because most people are with the area shots of the spring peepers or the wood yeah. frogs or, or breeding populations. 
Um, you just go out, you listen. Um, at our training sessions that we host at the zoo, you'll learn how to identify the frogs by their breeding calls. And then you just listen, and then you rate the intensity of the call on a scale of zero to three. I have to say that's a lot of fun, especially for kids who are in school right now. It's and fantastic. Get to work on that it's project. a great activity for families to get out, learn a little bit about the amphibians of Rhode Island, awesome. and contribute valuable data that's going to be used to help track. Pop, you know, fortunately, right now our populations in Rhode Island are okay. Uh, we're not experiencing any uh, uh, declines, but yeah. but this will be a great way of keeping track of them and being to no notice uh, if there is a, a decline. Well, Lou, thanks so much for being here. Thanks and for having me. Thank you as well. Back over to you.